come by and we're on the way to Cheltenham um, because you're moving into your new digs aren't you? Yeah. In university. So the caravan's full of stuff that well shouldn't be in there really but you know it's another thing and it happens to be a bank holiday weekend so we thought we'd be able to uh, kill two birds with one stone. Um, Fiona will be joining us later on. Um, she'll be bringing her car along. Should be good. When do you move in? Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Yes. So we'll put the caravan in position. We have a pitch with an awning on. Um, so we'll put the awning up. But I haven't got much stuff to go in it apart from all Sam stuff. So we can take it out the caravan and put it in there. And David, you're here somewhere, aren't you? Jess, you there? Jess. She there? She gonna stick her head up and say hello? Yes. Oh, sort of say hello. Well, that's your standard bank holiday traffic. It's busy. So what better time to introduce you to our new toy? <laughs> so Fiona and I have invested in a DJI Mavic 2 Zoom drone and um, excuse the uh, jerkiness of this but we are learning to fly this at the same time. Um, now the Caravan and Motorhome Club um, site and in Cheltenham is actually as you can see part of the actual race course itself um, so this will give us some additional viewpoints add a bit of excitement to our videos itself. <music> Caravan Motor and Club is mostly hard standing. As you can see, there's quite a few caravans down there, all the way along the front. And on race days, um, you've got no chance trying to get into the place. Um, now we are actually positioned um, on the grass there. There's not many grass pitches, but we are second caravan in from the right hand side. Um, we don't actually have the awning up just yet because um, I'm flying this and, and the children are sorting out the internals. Well, what it does have is this is the entrance um, that you can see in the background and it's, uh, the car park is huge and if you have a, uh, a pooch with you there's a cracking dock walk. So more on this later. Now as you can see my fun is coming to an end I'm having to bring it down and land it because I'm just seeing Fiona arriving in the car park. So when you come in um, to this site now, obviously it's a race course, there is security and some bollards to negotiate, but it only adds a couple of minutes and the views are quite stunning when you get inside. And the kids have finally got the awning up as well. Um, so we can get on and get all Sam's stuff in it um, and then get ready to take that to university tomorrow for her. Here she comes. You're not worried, are you? You're not worried, are you? Look, she's come to see you. Oh, no, you get jumping as well. Oh, yeah. Excited. So a different day for us today as we say uh, probably say goodbye to Sam yeah, no, for another year. Yeah, it? she's going back to university so we're here at Cheltenham Racecourse on their site. Uh, it seems to be like a pigeon day or something because loads of uh, yeah, lorries does. with pigeons are turning up. Yeah. And you'll also see behind us we have our small awning. And let me just tell you about awnings very briefly, okay? When we first had a caravan, yeah. Steve wanted a big no, awning because that's that's story. that's all we'll need is a big awning. A few months in, oh, I think we need a smaller awning, you know, for those little trips. We don't have to put the big awning up. So we got a small awning. That's this one, my favourite one. And then after that, oh, I think you know when we go somewhere hot overseas, I think we need a canopy. So hence came a summer ca summer canopy. Yeah. And then when the blow up awnings came, you know those guys. Um, yeah, we had to try one of those too. So we are the family with an awning for almost every well, day of the week. I think everybody's got one of those. No, I don't think they have to. That's yeah. just you. Okay. 
and we do have a dog and uh, if you recall there's a nice dog walk so we thought we'd uh, go and have an, a little explore and see what's happening and as you can see also there's um, really interesting views so, like I didn't realize that's what's involved in building um, an actual jump <music> saying it's hot but go straight for water <laughs> and so after shifting boxes all morning a big shout out to the air balloon pub which is happens to be dog friendly in the big way that they actually have a dog menu and she just loves pigs in blankets so we thought we'd better get her some then And then to finish it off, some nice doggy ice cream, which he polished off quite nicely. And like, just like all humans, you got to have a nap after you've had some nice food. And so that was the end of our bank holiday weekend and good job as well. Look at the weather the next morning. There's no more sunshine. But as soon as we climb out of uh, Cheltenham and into the Swindon area, look, blue sky! Hey! Well, that's it for this episode. Please remember to subscribe and press the bell.